Today we're going to go for a drive and get bearings, maybe. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How are you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. Well, I'm going to take a ride at a THC. TSC. Now it's called Perverts or something like that. I can't remember what it's called, but they might have bearings. So we're going to take a ride. I called them. They said I can come into the store. Princess Auto, you can't come in the store. What happens if I was a farmer? It was farm equipment and I needed a bearing for my tractor. That's pretty essential, I would think. But yet you can't go in the store for that. So just cocked right over. But let's get in the truck here in the old Chevy Silverado. And we'll take a ride in and see if we can't get ourselves a couple of friggin' bearings. I freaking tell you one thing, it's beautiful out today. It's like 70 degrees almost already. Look at that. So that's friggin' awesome. Well, we tried. No one's got a damn bearing in here. So I think we're pretty much euchred until Monday. So we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow. Call Podolinski's. Take a ride out there, pick up some stuff, and hopefully they have bearings too, but it is what it is. That's why the lawn was cut before he tore it apart. That was supposed to be a winter project. Guess what happened? I didn't do it. Why the hell would I? I'm gonna pull into Princess Auto and see if they'll take my bearing in the store and see if they can find one to match. Let's see what they say. We'll be real nice to them. Let's see if we can sweet talk ourselves into the store. Very nice girl at Princess Auto. She actually came to the door for me, took my bearing in and went and looked and see if she had one and she brought a few out, but no go on that O. Hats off Princess Auto for coming to the door at least. Appreciate it. But we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow. Today's out. So we got dickered on that today. Like I said, I go back to work on May 10th. So I want to kind of get this stuff kind of wrapped up while I feel half decent, but I don't want to overdo it too. So we're going to have to just take our time. That's why I did it on the ground so I could lay down or sit down or and shut up, Cap. Well, I'm just out for a ride on decent to see what's going on. Not sure what I want to do right now. I think this is good. But I did do a couple other things to the lawnmower though. I, I changed the oil in her. So that you're not going to see, unfortunately, because it's an old change. What the hell do you need to see that for? And I just put a bracket on the fuel filter. Oh, so there's a bracket right there. What do you think of that? That's freaking bad. Is that decent, babe? Yeah. The next day. Podolinski's has everything but the blade. So that's freaking awesome. So we're gonna head out there right now. I'm pretty sure they do have a mulcher blade. See, I have a high lift blade on my lawnmower because I have the rear bagger. So you need a high lift blade to push the leaves and grass up into the back bagger, eh? But. I'm thinking if they have one there, I might get the mulcher blade and not run the baggers all summer because it helps fill the grass in too when you when you remulch the grass because I have a lot of bare spots on my grass and probably a lot of that's because I pick up my grass all the time where if you spread it around, you reseed and stuff like this. So leave a comments down below and let me know if you uh, agree with that or not. We'll have to see what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification if you like what's going on so far. Nice that I'm able to go out here and spend like three or four hundred dollars at John Deere. I don't know how much it is. I'll tell you when I get it. Probably gonna be over a hundred bucks. If I'm not mistaken, the belt's probably 30 bucks, 30 or so bucks alone, but whatever. It's a crappy day out today. It's kind of raining. We might actually get motivated enough today maybe to even start to put it back together, but we'll have to see. If I do, it might be on this video, but it also might be on the other video. I don't know what to tell you. You just gotta have to wait and find out. Well, they gotta go into town tomorrow. My mom got a Tepperman. She ordered yourself one of them floor standard room air conditioner units there and from Tepperman's. They're dropping it off tomorrow and she wants me to go over there and see if I can't shove the f***ing pipe thing of a bobber through the window for her. Should be able to do that. I was on a binge this weekend. Let me know in the comments below if you watch Vice Grip Garage. He's kind of like, uh, he's American, but he's kind of like red green, zip tie and bias ply kind of finger movements. Which is good, it's funny as hell. Actually, it's pretty good to watch. He's a very smart feller. Even though he says he's not a smart feller, he's a pretty smart feller, I think. But I've been watching that and I gotta be careful because his lingo is very easy to pick up on. So if you hear me saying a few different words, it sounds like that, I apologize, but it's kind of funny the way he talks. So let me know in the comments down below if you, you watch that. And if not, go check him out, Vice Grip Garage. Why wouldn't you? Gets junk out of a field and gets it running and drives her home. It's almost like, remember that show uh, Roadkill? Something like that. But I find it pretty decent. I've been leaving them comments. So if you happen to check out this video, how you doing, bud? Derek, I think his name is. Derek? Yeah, how you doing, Derek? I think it's his name. He could be wrong though, but I'm pretty sure that's his name. But anyway, I'm just gonna head over here to my 10 minutes or so drive over to Podolinski's equipment and grab myself my parts. So I'll see you in like probably 12 seconds later. We're here at Podolinski's. That didn't take long at all. We're gonna go in here and see if we can't snafu on some parts. But let me tell you what, I want that friggin' thing right there. Hey, that would be friggin' 
decent. Need to take that home right now. Not later, right now. Well, they didn't have the mulcher blade either, but I got them to order both because they're only 30 bucks. So I might as well get both blades. That way we have the mulcher and the high lift and we're good to go. We got the belt and I'll tell you right now, that's a lot better belt than what was on it. I think I just went with a Jarek belt and that's probably why it was wearing out real quick. This one here, she's got some string on her. So she's all stringed up that one. We've got her outside of the air filter spongerooski and then we have our air filter rooski. For some reason, this doesn't look like the right shape. Nope, that's the right one. Yep, that's it. So there we got a new air filter, a new dust cap for that. So that's good. And then we got our nice brand new sealed bearings for the old doodad. Yeah, we friggin' did. Let me tell you what though, I tell you, she'd be nice to uh, snafu that thing. Or maybe one of these bad boy lawnmowers. Hey, look at them all. They're ready to friggin' go, we are. Got some youthies over there. Ah, oh, decent. Jim, freaking right, that's decent. Still blow anyone? We don't need them around here. Oh, backhoe. Hey, there's a seat I need. I need one of them seats. All right, dude. Oh, dick, look at this. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Take that for a rip. Frig, why wouldn't you? They got all sorts of goodies over here. Ah, ah. Oh, that'd be awesome to have. Look at that thing. Oh, it's even got the claw on it. Freaking right. My goddamn mirrors are too big. They get in the friggin' way all the time. Mirrors are bigger than dicks. But anyways, if you're a John Deere fan, this is a John Deere dealer for you because they got lots of John Deere stuff. I wonder why. I wonder why they have so much John Deere stuff here. Back over there, they got assortment of all old stuff. I was over there one day and they let me look around. It was pretty friggin' cool. They are actually supposed to call me and give me something, but they never called me, so it kind of dicked me over that way. But they got all sorts of goodies back in there. It's all junk, but you know, one man drunk's another man's treasure, some say. Hold on a second, I gotta put my seatbelt on. So now we're just gonna head home here and gander at the situation, have something for breakfast, and relax for a bit. And then maybe we'll get to another video for you on installing some parts. Leave a comment down below if you wanna see that. I don't mind doing that once in a while, I don't. Hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am, not doing anything I ain't doing. Enjoy your day, love y'all, and you know what to do for now.